Uh, so I'm going to talk about uh, automation, uh, the evolution of the, the different versions of the Pacific Research Platform. Uh, at PRP V0, we were a strictly layer two uh, spaghetti monster that we knitted ourselves. And uh, it was very simple. We had a, a, a physical box for grid FTP. We had a physical box for Personar. We exchanged SSH keys and bash scripts, and that was the state of automation. Uh, everything was hand tuned uh, when it comes to perf sonar and uh, mad dash. So uh, creating things was difficult. Uh, PRP V1, um, we got tired of layer two spaghetti. And so we went layer three exclusively. That simplified a lot of the underlying uh, yeah, spaghetti issues. Uh, but uh, we did start uh, publishing Google Docs for how to create your own Fiona and uh, attach it to our creation. Uh, PRPV2, it uh, uh, again was layer three, but we added K8S, uh, Kubernetes and Calico uh, that gave us an overlay network. And uh, this all ran on hyper-converged hardware instead of on separate hardware. We deployed GitLab CI CD for managing and maintaining uh, cluster uh, node code bases and software distributions. Uh, one of the things that uh, became very helpful is the automation of uh, the Mad Dash creation, Personar uh, automation, whereby we just create a label and attach it to the node and the cluster uh, takes care of creating the configuration that joins that node to a particular mesh for the automated testing. Uh, we used, uh, uh, created a, a CI log on federated identity uh, connector into Kubernetes uh, with uh, CI log on uh, uh, portals help. Uh, we uh, started using Ansible playbox, uh, playbooks and uh, Netbox uh, as our start of truth for storing the, the as wired and as uh, uh, configured uh, cluster uh, in some place that it's easily trackable because we are distributed. We're sending machines all over the country. We need to be able to figure out what we sent where and what hardware is in it. So automation of net boxes is one of, one of our most uh, powerful tools and Ansible of course is uh, drives all of this stuff. We spent a lot of time on portal docs and tutorials to make the uh, uh, for users and for system administrators to make this automation possible. And we support uh, yeah, the, the matrix uh, chat for our social science network. Um, let's see if I can advance. Uh, PRP V3 is what we're kind of working on now. And that's adding layer two back into the story. Uh, using Sense and Autogoal for network uh, automation. We're extending our, our uh, reach into the DPU FPGA Smart NIC for integration and offloading hardware acceleration. We're working with uh, the Xilinx FPGAs, the Bluefield 2 NICs, the fungible DPUs. Uh, we've set up the IGROC Elastic Stack uh, cluster, uh, seven. 100 gigabit a second connected nodes uh, doing elastic search and S flow. We've got gradient graph for a, a bottleneck analysis. Uh, all of these tools are uh, consuming REST APIs and producing uh, REST APIs for node graph and other downstream processes. We're uh, uh, experimenting with the next generation network operating systems and P4 Sonic NOS. Uh, and uh, we hope to have a, a, a test bed established soon between Caltech and UCSD. Again, we've been developing Netbox plugins, QR code uh, plugin for asset tracking and Netbox agent. Uh, these are existing code bases that we're just contributing to and pushing back to the public. We're also very excited about Jupyter Lab hubs the Helm deployment uh, uh, system that Berkeley came up with. And then we are deploying as many places as we can to solve things like the Casper tool stack. And then namespace federation, 
that allows us to automate cluster to cluster collaborations and uh, the owner of the cluster, the institution maintains the ownership of the relationship. These are peer to peer federations. And so this is just a, a quick, uh, a quick, a couple of quick slides showing the state of the sense auto goal uh, connections uh, internationally currently. Uh, this is Reservoir Labs gradient graph. This is the topology view of some of the next uh, generation cutting edge uh, diagnostic uh, uh, tools that we're going to be integrating with T, uh, P4. And then uh, Jupiter Stacks. This actually shows the, the landing page for the Casper instance that we deployed. 